Hello, this is Alphabet Soup. I was never really into eating Alphabet Soup as a kid because I don't really like tomato soup. So the whole canned Chef Boyardee or the canned um, you know, Alphabet Soup and all that stuff. Didn't really get into Alphabet Cereal, didn't really care for because of the cheap marshmallows. You know, oat cereal, I'd rather just eat Cheerios. So I never just got into that. I thought it was cool about spelling words and the milk and stuff like that, but I just didn't eat the cereal or the soup to do it. Um, but alphabet soup in modern culture is really a description of acronyms that has, I don't know, permeated practically every aspect of the human culture. Um, an example is okay. You know, okay, the two letters in and of themselves don't mean anything. Um, I was told that it is from a French expression, O. Oh, Okay, okay, to the Q, and it's like, okay, I got it, to the Q, check, check, check. But now to say okay is like to say, and in response to a question, are you okay? It's not good, it's not bad, it's simply in the middle, but people tend to use okay to mean good, like they use all right to mean everything is all right, as opposed to are you okay? And so things get glossed over. Things get um, covered up, they get denied, um, and people continue this pretense that everything is okay. But okay isn't really anything. Things like LULZ, L-U-L-Z, or, you know, come on, WTF, O-M-G, O-L-R-O-F-L-M-A-L, <laughs> you know, come on. These aren't really words. Um, and their sound makes no sense when you say Rafflemau, would you have known what I was talking about if you didn't know about R-M-F-L-M-A-L, or Omeg? What if? I mean, that's not an actual language. You know, they're acronyms. They don't say anything in and of themselves without some sort of understanding of code, some understanding of a secret understanding, and a secret mind to accept these programs, because that is what they are, they're programs like the CIA, the FBI, and they're used because they're words, and as simple everyday things, they're the foot soldiers of the military industrial complex of the mental regime that they have going on this earth. You know, real letters are living letters of living words, and letters that are living words themselves. Life is what gives this code meaning, not some arbitrary, well, we're going to say this and then you're just going to accept it, okay? Uh, living words don't have to be named. They're silent, in essence. They're named through their phraseology, through their action. The best code makers are those who make up codes that don't make sense and still get you to accept it. IED. PTSD, GMF, HSBC, CIA, HIV. Through unification of sound, that is pronouncing the word or the letters as a word, one can see these are not common sense. They mean nothing in and of themselves. But the beauty of the program is, when they are said, people still know what they mean. They accept the meaning given them and therefore leave the door open for the programmer to slip in unannounced. The silence doesn't speak in the first place. This is how Christ is seen as a thief in the night. He uses ignorance, your back door, to get in. So no matter what, you're stuck with him. Dope. <laughs> Dope. Um, so yes, it's simply the alphabet soup has you know, move from the military and the industry to common culture, which is sort of the common practice in this country where the military will adopt something and about 40 years later, here it is. So, you know, even things back in SCUBA is an acronym. So in and of itself, that word makes no sense. But when understood the picture of SCUBA, one may make sense 
of nonsense. And it's a clever practice, but you know, how are you using it? How are you letting yourself be used through the alphabet soup? Through the programming language of the matrix? You know, yes, it does look confusing, but there is an order there if you can understand it. If you can find the letters in your spoon. And say, there is no spoon? Well, then go find one. <laughs> Unless you just want to slip up your soup like that, like a dog.